right, what up YouTube? It is Saturday, which means for me, I should probably be cleaning my house. But instead, I'm not. I'll do that later. But I'm gonna go out with my girl, Ruby. And what are we gonna do, Ruby? Go to the store. We're gonna go to the store. What store are we gonna go to? Uh, what's it called? Desert Industries. Desert. And what are we gonna do there? We are going to... <laughs> We're gonna look for some crap to sell. And by crap, I mean good stuff. Um, honestly, I... Uh, we're doing this and we find some cool things for us here and there. That's fun. Honestly, I'm not shopping for myself. I have more stuff than I could ever need. God is good. God has blessed us greatly. And uh, yeah, actually we have too much stuff, but I do know that I like to make money uh, buying and selling things on eBay. And that's my uh, preferred way of selling things. Once in a while, I sell them on on offer up as well. Hey, Dad, can you hear me but that face mask? that's how I roll. Ruby is looking for a face mask, and why do you need a face mask? Because we're in the middle of a pandemic. But that doesn't stop us from thrifting, does it, Rube? No. No. What kind of stuff do you think we're gonna get? I don't know. You don't know? Yeah, I don't really know either. But I do know this. We're going to be in for a short period of time, and hopefully we will find some goodies. That, that is shirt. my thought anyway. And yeah, so it opens at 10. As we pull up here in a minute, we'll see. Um, a couple weeks ago I came here right on time, and uh, there was a bit of a line. I thought, oh my goodness, all the pickers are coming, and they are looking for all the deals like me. Because at first the store, when it first opened, it was like a ghost town. And they were getting lots of products um, from Desert Industries. It's uh, I think it's Mormon owned. And most of their products that I was getting had tags on it and different labels that said from Utah. So I think a lot of it, when they moved stores at this one, they got a lot of merchandise from Utah. There was a lot of containers out behind the store. And we got some goodies there. We got some great stuff. I got like a Mickey Mantle autographed baseball for $20 that I sold for $200, like almost immediately, like within 24 hours. And what else did I get? Just a lot of di different odds and ends. I bought a couple of sewing machines. Not because I sew. I don't. I brought them home. My wife was like, what are you doing? I'm like, well, I looked them up on eBay. And I think they sell for a decent amount of money. And she's like, well, what about shipping? And I'm like, yeah, uh, yeah, you're probably right. But anyway, so I threw them on to offer up and some lady came and bought one of them that I bought for, I think I bought it for $30, maybe $35. And she paid a hundred for it. I was like, boom, $30 into a hundred. I'll do that all day long. And then after that, um, I had another sewing machine posted, and I think for like $100, and the gal, the same gal that bought the first one for 100 said, hey, can you cut me a deal? I bought that other one from you. I'm like, uh, get it out of my garage, sure. So I think that one I paid $20 on, um, and she came and bought it for 60 again. Not a huge profit, but enough for me to be a little bit excited, <laughs> and then I bought another one for $15, and that's still hanging out in my garage, so... Again, uh, you win some, you lose some. And uh, yeah, I should probably lower the price on, on that one just to get it going. Or, or if not, I guess I'll give it away to somebody that needs a sewing machine. And, uh, or I could always uh, maybe save it for a garage sale and you know get 10 bucks out of it, something like that too. Oh my goodness, not supposed to be having a phone while I'm driving. Oh, no, not arrested. Luckily, I'm going hands-free <laughs> while I'm driving. And luckily, we live like five seconds away from where we're shopping. So, let's see. We're pulling up the big reveal. What is the... What's it going to look like today? Are there going to be like 100 people? Is there going to be one person? Ooh, I see cars pulling up. And survey says there is nobody at the door which means I'm going to go into the door and I'll be the first one in. And maybe... There's nobody ever in the store. Yeah, we got a picker in hand and a couple other people looking for some deals, kind of like we are. So stay tuned. It doesn't open for like 10 minutes, but we're going to go 
wait at the line. Why? Because we want to be the first ones in. No, somebody else I think is going to beat us there. So anyway, stay tuned. We'll give you the big reveal later of what our big deals are. Right, Ruby? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Stay sweet. Right, Rube? Mm -hmm. All right. Kid, what are you doing there? No loitering, no like like hanging out at outside stores that are not open. What are you doing here? You're waiting to go? Mm -hmm. Yeah? What are you trying to do? You looking for some deals? Mm -hmm. What are you hoping to find today? Like, are you really? Cool, are you gonna stay right with Dad? Yeah. Alright, fun. Thanks for coming with me. Right, so we've got the big reveal, as I promised you. We promised it, right, Ruby? Yeah. Yeah, we promised it. So anyway, you're probably looking at my nose, but hopefully not. But we do have uh, some items that we have here. Let me see if I can find the receipt. Proof is in the pudding, and the pudding says it's we spent $65, which, uh, yeah, that was a little bit more than I was thinking we would spend. But we'll give a quick uh, update of the different items that we found and how we think we will do. So first things first, receipt goes in my pocket. What did you find? Most important, you found yourself a book for, is that for you or for somebody else? Lainey. For your sister Lainey, 50 cents? I think that's a good find. And, and what about that? What is it? A Barbie. A Barbie, cool. And is that for you or somebody else? Maisie. Maisie, you got them for your sisters. That makes me a happy dad. The fact you were thinking about your sisters. Sounds good, I'll help you to get out. And then I will keep uh, digging into the rest of our goodies that we got. So, you don't forget your, your uh, nice little face shield here. Can't forget that in these days and age, right? <laughs> yeah, so anyway, let's take a quick peek here. So I got, you picked out these books, right, Ruby? Yeah, we, so you got these books, right? The golden books? Yeah. So they're 50 cents each, and you were picking out a couple of them, and I just figured, you know what? I'm going to get all of them, because are, are we going to have fun reading these? And then once we're done reading them, we could probably just sell them, right? We have 100 of them. We got 100 of them? Yeah, I don't know how many we got, but they're 50 cents each, so I don't know what that is. Yeah, probably $5 worth, something like that. So, yeah, so that's that. What else did we get? I got a pair of... Hold on. Don't rummage. Can you wait a second? I'm looking for my socks. Oh, yeah. We'll get those in a second. So next up, what did we get? We got some Doc Martens. A little dusty. But we got them for a whopping $3. And let's see what size those are. I can't tell. But anyway, we will uh, clean those up, dust those off. And they are size 12 or size 13 US, so they're bigger than me. But I am pretty sure those will sell pretty stinking quick for... A profit because those are three dollars. What did you get there, sweetie? Did you want to show us? Megan socks. You got some Ninja, Ninja Turtle, Turtle socks. And were those for you or for somebody else? Megan. For your brother. You were thinking of others. I love it. Cool. Next up, what did we get? We got. I didn't check into this, but there's an unopened set of Minecraft books. And we might just have a boy that is having a birthday coming up soon. So again, he might have fun looking through these. Again, $5. That's a pretty good price for a gift. So we like to thrift, to buy and sell, but we also like to buy a really, uh, fairly inexpensive items for, uh, for uh, presents and uh, things like that as well. So let's see what else we have here. A couple of other goodies. This is probably, probably my best item that I found. And they are some like stinking really nice looking shoes. They are. They're Nike, Eric Costin, signature model. So again, I didn't look these up, but I'm just gonna take a wild guess that I'd, I'll get easy 30 bucks for those. And we bought those for $8. So that'll be about $20 profit. Probably 20 profit there. 20 profit for the Doc Martens, minimum, I would say. The books, priceless, because we'll get to read those. And then once we're done reading them, we can sell those, I bet you, for like a $20 lot, something like that. What else do we have here? We've got some. What? We've got some red wing boots, and these red wing boots are pretty awesome, except for they have a little bit of damage on the bottom. I was not going to get them a little damage to the sole, but uh, I saw the comps are about $100 per boot, um, a pair of boots of this same model. So if I buy them for eight, even if I'm halfway there because of the damage, 
then that's still pretty good. What else do we have? have some shorts, Under Armour shorts, two bucks. My son will like those. And a Seahawk jersey, 12 uh, fan, uh, also good. And some other goodies. I haven't had too much luck on selling these, but they're cheap, so I'm gonna take a stab at it. What else do we got here? That's about it. Didn't do all that great today. Got some Reebok shoes that Ruby found. Three bucks, we'll be able to sell those pretty easy for, I'd say, 15 to 20. Uh, ink cartridge for 75 cents. Yeah, people are always looking for those. And just a couple other things. So that is it for our little haul for today. And we'll give you an update on how they do uh, in terms of sales and uh, in terms of the pre presents for, for family members. I'm sure that they will love those as well. So anyway, that's it for now. Right, Ruby? Yeah. All right, we're ready to roll. Oh my goodness. Is that an abandoned mall? I wonder if the door's open. What do you think? What the heck? The door's wide open? Oh, wow. What the heck is music? Oh, there's music playing. Whoa, this is crazy. Good thing the lights are on. Whoa. Sears is no longer. That makes me sad. Store closed. No. Pretty quiet. It is a Saturday morning and there's literally nobody here. It's not abandoned. Not abandoned? Okay. So that was that was a fake. It's not really abandoned. Only like 99% abandoned. Let's see. You think so? Yeah. We got Dean Juarez. We are looking for. What are we looking for, sweetie? For toys? No, we're not. Did somebody get married today? Raquel is, yeah. So we're going to go ahead and look for. We are looking for H&M to get brother some suspenders. So stay tuned and we'll see if we find them. What do you think, sweetie? We're going to find them? 